Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. But today we're going to do another catch and cook, and today we're going to be cooking some flounder. We uh, went out the other day, we got three nice flounder, Amber, Summer, and myself, and today we're going to do something different with them. We're going to do what I call flounder roll-ups. Something I just came up with, is an idea I've had in my head, so we'll see how they turn out, y'all. So real quick, check out this footage of us catching some flounder, and I'll see you guys at the cleaning table, and I'll see you in the kitchen, y'all. <laughs> up again. I think I got me a flat one. Don't feel don't feel as big as the other one. Doesn't feel as big as the other one. He's a flat one. Get him summer. Alright. Number two flatty. Let's make sure he's legal. Okay drop the net babe. Number two flat one. I'm pretty sure he's, oh, I barely had him hooked. Look at that, guys. Barely had him hooked. All right, let's measure him real quick. Got him? Yep, you got him. Yes. All right, I think some, Amber is hooked up with a flounder, guys. See that net? Okay, don't horse him too much, though. This will be Amber's first flounder if this is one. It is, it's a nice flounder. Is it? Yep. Ah, okay. Let's see it. All right, <laughs> we got a flounder, guys. Yay! Oh my god. Got it. Yeah, awesome. What do you think about that? <laughs> Pretty that, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Let's take a picture. That's a nice size flounder, guys. Oh, Yo, they got a lot of teeth. Get, get my phone out, son. It's in my, it's in there. Oh my god. No, other side, other side. Inside of there, Summer. All right, guys. There's a nice little flatty. Awesome. All right, guys, I got my flounder here. Got my three nice flounder. And we're gonna go ahead and clean these up today. It's been a while since I've actually cleaned a flounder. So with flounder, you actually get four fillets off the fish, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, you're going to make a, an incision around the head here, about like that, and I like to come straight down, straight across here, just make a little incision, go straight across here, then you'll see on the flounder, you'll see a little indention right here where the lateral line is, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut straight down that lateral line all the way till you hit the backbone. Just like that, guys. Then you're gonna take your knife, flexible knife, and you're gonna just work that around. You'll feel it. Hear that clicking sound. Take your thumb in here, so you can pull it up a little bit. You're just gonna work that fillet off. Just like that. Stick it right here through the tail. Cut that out. And just keep going with your knife here. Just like that, guys. Okay, and then you'll see where this ends. Just put your knife through where that skin is. Come across. Same thing here. There you go, guys. There's one of your four flounder fillets. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Well, we got the two fillets right here off this side. So we're going to flip it over to the white side. Sorry for all the noise next door. They're working. We're going to do the same thing. 
Sorry for the little shadow here. All the trees have grown up. Because of the summer now, I don't have the all the leaves off the tree like I do during the winter. So I got a little bit of a shadow here. We got a cat up here. Let's see if you can see this cat. Little stray cat. Call him Charger. He's just a stray cat that comes around. He wants some fish. So let me see if I can get him something real quick. Keep him happy. Here you go, Charger. He loves fresh fish, this cat. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we did on the other side. Just gonna move that knife along. Hold on, Charger, stay back. This cat just came, showed up one day, kind of adopted us. So now we have an outdoor cat. We have a couple outdoor cats actually that adopted us out here. There we go. There's number three fillet. All right, guys, I got my, my four flounder fillets here. So we're going to go ahead and skin them, which is really easy. Just take your knife along that skin just like you do any other fish. Voila. Beautiful fillet right there, guys. A little bit of bones right there. That's it. We'll give that to Charger. Here you go, Charger. There he goes. Alright, guys, we're in the kitchen. We got my flounder fillets here. And these are the ingredients we're going to need tonight. We're going to need some diced tomatoes. We got two cans of that. We're gonna need some bacon, some spinach, whole spinach leaves, and some mozzarella cheese. All right, guys. What we're gonna do? We're gonna take our flounder fillet and we're gonna put it the bone side up, which means this is the the side of the meat that was next to the backbone, and we're gonna lay some spinach leaves in it. Some fresh spinach leaves. Just like that. About like that, guys. And then we're going to lay some slices of mozzarella cheese. About like that. And then we're going to roll it up the best we can. And then we're going to take a slice of bacon and we're going to wrap the bacon around the fish fillet. Again, just do it the best that you can. Alright, and then we're going to take a little wooden skewer and we're going to go through the whole roll up here. So it's, you got something like that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of these, and I'll get with you guys in a little bit. Okay, Jody Rockers, I got my flounder roll-ups right here. I got to say, they look really good. So now we're going to add some crushed tomatoes to the pan. Just get them all in there the best way you can. I like that. Go ahead and put a little bit more in there and get another can open. All right, guys, we got it all set up here now with the tomatoes, and we're just going to salt and pepper them. Just like this. We're also going to put some Parmesan cheese. All over because you know I like Parmesan cheese and fish. One more ingredient to go. All right, the last ingredient we're going to use is some, some habanero jack cheese. We got these little snack cheese packs here, little stick cheese like this. And what we're going to do is just going to break off a little piece. We're going to stuff it right in the center, just like that. So that's what we're looking at, fellas. 
All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven, 375 degrees for about 25 minutes, and that should do it. And let me add real quick, we're gonna put it in the oven uncovered for th 25 minutes. Here you go, guys. Here's the finished product. I ended up putting some spinach in with the uh, tomatoes just to add a little bit more flavor. But that's it, guys. That's your flounder roll-ups. I wish you could smell this. I wish we had smell of vision because this smells awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get one real quick. And we're going to taste it real quick, just the roll-up itself, and see how it tastes. Okay, Jay Rockers, I have my uh, flounder here. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. There's a piece of my flounder, right there. Oh, man, holy cow. That is phenomenal. Wow. I don't even know. I don't even. Guys, that is awesome. That is so good. Wow. First time I've made this. I've actually been getting a little bit adventurous on my catch and cooks. I did the uh, General So Shark doing this. I didn't just want to make regular old uh, baked flounder or stuffed flounder because everybody's done that. I want to do something a little bit different. So I kind of thought over it for a couple days and I came up with this idea and that's awesome. I mean this is the bomb. I mean that, that should be in, in a, a gourmet restaurant. I mean that is good. And I'm no chef, guys. I'm just a normal guy, regular guy, just likes to cook. I've had no training. I just like putting stuff together and see how it tastes. And sometimes I come up with something that is awesome. Well, guys, I want to thank you very much for joining me for dinner tonight and watching this video. And I want to thank each and every one of you subscribers for subscribing to this channel. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you guys very much. You guys really, really mean a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And thumbs up are always appreciated, y'all. They really help out this channel. Until I get to see you guys again soon here on the water, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. Hey, Jetty Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page, where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.